How's it going? How's it going, CNN fam? Okay, this is part two of the accident. So after talking to friends and family, I ended up gathering up more information and ended up uh, pretty much getting more pieces of the puzzle of what could have happened that night. But according to everything I gathered, um, they stated that we did race that night, that at one point we were, since my cousin was, his top speed was 95. I heard that her top speed was 75 before she let go of the gas. And when they were racing, I ended up hearing that he went about 20 seconds ahead of her. And when she looked up to try to look for us, the car did blend in with the night since it was black. She ended up going through the two dips that were there in the street, causing her airbag to come out. When the airbag came out, it ended up injuring, I believe it was her right wrist. And when it ended up injuring her wrist, there was possibly seconds or minutes that she blacked out before she woke back up right away and she ended up going through a rocky area that ended up slowing her down and what ended up come, making her come to a complete stop was after she hit the light pole and at this point she got out of the car she stood around waiting for assistance or somebody to come luckily her dad was on the way because he literally lived like three minutes away from where she crashed and at this point, people at the bar that were nosy came out and they were taking pictures and recording videos. And at this point, she's like, do you guys mind? I just got in an accident. And they're like, oh, we are sorry. Are you OK? Can we get you anything? She says, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm waiting on my dad. And when her dad did show up, I guess uh, my brother had it stationed behind her a couple of minutes ago or after, I'm not sure, before her dad came or after. But at this point, she said that, that my brother ended up, uh, ended up asking her if she was okay, which she stated yes. And then she points us out and she's like, I think your brother and your cousin are over there. And at this point, that's where my brother ends up seeing us and he ends up going to go help us. And that, from there, that's when my brother went to go take care of the situation that we were in. Uh, my, my cousin was bleeding. He, he was in, unconscious. So my brother did grab him, pulled him off into the grass. And from there, he did end up looking for me. I did get ejected from the car because I wasn't wearing my seatbelt that night. Again, thank you, God, because he saved my life that night because I could have died. And from there, that's when some people that came from the bar that were nosy, luckily, uh, they ended up helping my brother drag me into the grass. And that's when the ambulance showed up. And when the ambulance showed up, I heard that they did get bothered because, as you guys know, and if you don't, I'm gonna go ahead and explain it, that when something severe happens or something critical happens to somebody, you really wanna leave your hands off of them because you don't know their condition, their situation or their condition, and you can make things worse. But at this point, I don't blame my brother because I would have done the same thing. It's a natural reaction that you're trying to help out and and there's no, no harm, no foul done, you know? And I'm still here, so it's all good. But from there, I, I, I heard that, I did hear that they had ended up uh, cursing and saying, saying things to both of them for that, for that situation, which made her confused because she's like, I've been standing here the whole time. I haven't moved here. I haven't even gone over there to, to which is to, to our car. And at this point, that's when, uh, when I end up hearing that that's when the ambulance ended up 
doing what they had to do and transported us to the hospital and to UMC, University Medical Center. And at this point, that's when we were entered into coma. And that is part two. So if you add, if you mix those two stories together, you should be able to come up with a little bit of what happened that night, just like I did. Uh, like I said, everything is not official. Everything is is still up there, but it's in the past. You know, I don't really care about it no more. I'm happy of where I'm at. I'm blessed of where I'm at, and I could care less about going back to relive that moment. But that is the second part to the accident. And like I say, stay up with the videos because next week it's gonna be coma experiences and that one is really traumatic and it's really informational and it would also get your inspiration and motivation up because the main thing i'm trying to do is show people not to give up don't quit in a little situation that could become a lifetime sentence you know if you keep looking straight and keep looking forward in life you can get through anything but go ahead like the video comment down below what you think and stick up with the videos, all right? Thank you so much. Anthony out. Everybody have a blessed day.